Okay, Donald in New Jersey. It's just a quick one for you here. I got your mic. I uh, got the battery put in it. It's going to come with a book. Uh, you will get a box, even though the website says that you won't. Um, the problem is some of the boxes got pretty heavily damaged in shipping. So some of the factory boxes like these you won't get if you buy one. Because it just, obviously, I'm not going to send something that got, like, ripped open or to the point where it's, like, shredded in half or the box is all crinkled in on a side. Because some of the boxes were on the corner of the shipping box I got from Europe. So they took a little bit of a damage. Um, also, and this is coming from the factory that makes these for Zatagi, they didn't put a nice flat insert in here. Anybody, like a lot of the European guys that watch my channel probably have seen these or maybe even own these. You already know, some of my US customers that bought them too would know, most of the time these come with a nice flat insert over here so it just fits perfectly right on top of the mic. Well, for whatever reason, they, they took it and they like, chunked it all up and just threw it in the box so i'm assuming zatagi probably has a factory somewhere probably in china or somewhere in asia the asian uh, area of the world where they make these and then they ship them back to them and they distribute them to their various sources that sell them so for whatever reason um talking to my source in europe that i buy these from all of them that they received were like this and they literally didn't know because when you know when you're selling new products, you know to to a customer that's going to resell them, why would you ever look to open? I mean, they they expect a brand new product. They get them in, they box them and send them. I mean, I'm the one selling to the end user, so of course I have to look at this stuff, and I, it's just kind of embarrassing to send it like this. So what I have to do is dump this stuff out, and um, then I'll. I'll put it back in. Now you have your nice bottom insert. There was a top insert that looked pretty much just like that, except it went on the top. And I don't have those. So what I have is this uh, chunky styrofoam, which is useless. So what I'll do is we'll, we'll put it in the box, we'll bubble wrap it on the top, and then of course we'll bubble wrap the outer box, package it in a different box, and then you know they'll sa arrive safely to my customers. So. That, that's what's going on. There is a discount on the website. It does say that you won't receive a box. And if you don't receive a box, it's just because it was too damaged and there's no point in sending it. So, But most of them are okay. But I put that on there just to safeguard myself so that the customer would say, well, you didn't send it in a shipping box. I just got the mic and a manual. And that's what it says you're going to get. So if you do get it, just a mic and a manual. Don't be surprised. This is the reason why. So... Okay, enough about that. Let's look at the mic here. There's a battery already installed. I sent them out with batteries. It's easier to take the four screws out of the corner. That whole plate comes off, and then you can swap your battery when the time comes for that. So um, the base setting is here. I like to run it about zero or one. Any more than about two, and the, the high treble effect really just takes over. So I run it about zero between zero and one or something it sounds pretty good for me um if you have a much deeper voice than me maybe you would want to add a little high to your audio but uh, i think most of us probably have a, a deeper voice anyway so um we probably need a little bit of a more uh you know compliment our voice a little a little uh nice monotone bassy sound we all like that anyways with radio the little more bassy sound seems to just sound better over the air than a really high, super trebly sound. So keep that in mind with these. Um, it does have a, a meter that will kind of show you. It's not super scientific or anything, but it will show you when you're speaking into the mic. It will show some movement there. And apparently, if you go into this red area, you're you're overdriving the you know the amplifier in the mic. So it probably isn't going to be a desired effect. Especially if your radio has the super truck stop tunes and all the super high average swing, 20 watt swing and 50 average swing, which I, believe me, I love to have someone send me a radio that if you're, if you have a radio and you're willing to send it to me, I will, I will check it out and not charge you a dime. I would just love to see like one of these like any tone quad sixes or whatever some of these guys are putting out or they can show it like keying like 16, 18 watts and swing like 40 to 50 watts 
uh, bird average, which I guess is, you know, like this without the peak enabled, just, you know, like a swing, like a peak envelope power swing on average. I mean, to me, that's like, uh, that's going to be really bad if you show it on a scope. And and that's the one thing I've seen. Nobody ever shows that kind of radio on a scope, and I wonder why. Um, most of my customers are probably already aware of that, and that's why they don't probably deal with those type of folks. But I guess there still is a, a large following that wants that type of radio. So uh, if you have a radio like that, save yourself the trouble. Uh, don't buy a mic like this. Um don't buy a mic like this. Where's the other mic uh, that I really like here that I saw a lot of, that, which I'm almost out. Uh, let me grab that, sorry. Don't get a mic like this. Any, any nice quality amplified mic that you're gonna get with a radio like that, it's gonna just, the radio already probably sounds like garbage in my opinion. It's way over modded from the get-go. But if you add a nice quality amplified mic to it, it's going to get even worse and you're going to have a lot of squealing and feedback issues and if you're running an amplifier you're going to start to oscillate through the transistors or the mosfets and you're going to pick your mic's going to pick that up and it's going to oh, it's just going to be an absolute disaster so so just uh you know expect that if you get that it's not the mic's fault it's the radio's fault so there's a lot of problems with doing all these like crazy modifications to these radios just to show this, for whatever reason, this desired super high average power. Um, if you want high average power, just use FM. I mean, as soon as you key the mic, you have whatever the radio has. If it's 50 watts, it's 50 watts, and it doesn't it doesn't let off until you until you do that. So, all right, <laughs> enough about that. I'm getting a little carried away here, but. Uh, um, so I just I would love to see one of those radios here on my stuff and you know just see see how it would look I already know how it would look but um, And I don't even know how these guys are doing that kind of stuff. It really just people pay good money to have a radio Do that kind of craziness, but uh, anyways, let's uh, let's test this out here and see how kind of how it sounds It's not going to be super uh, quality here because this thing has a little cheap speaker in it, but just enough to show that it's passing some audio here, so. Whoop. Yeah, we need, definitely need to turn that gain down. One, two, here we go. One, two, one, two, check, check. One, two, there we go. So, uh, definitely is passing some audio, has a nice, clear, punchy sound to it. And uh, for this little cheap speaker in this thing, it's kind of pushing it to its brink. Um, especially with the bass down. So with the bass down on it, you know, it's uh, you can almost hear the the cone and the 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 outer part of the speaker starting to vibrate a little bit. It, it's kind of driving it, and the volume isn't up that high. So when I start to adjust the tone, this is about level two. You can hear where the the very high uh, treble sound starts to really take over. So you really, unless you have a super super like uh, deep voice where you need to add some highs, I, I really don't recommend going uh, more than about one to two. That's probably the max. Uh, again, I like to run the, the, the tone all the way down. I think that works good for me. And uh, again, the, the volume on this thing is gonna depend on, you know, what kind of radio you have and, you know, what's been done to it and all that. So we're getting that, that feedback effect due to the fact that I'm sitting like less than a foot away from the speaker so and we're running an amplified mic here but uh, yeah it's working good so I'm gonna get it ready to go for you Donald and uh, just uh, keep in mind that when you want to switch the battery you're going to have to take those four bottom screws it's virtually impossible to get I mean you can take those two screws and remove that plate but you really can't get the mic out or I'm sorry get the battery out it, it's really impossible to save yourself the headache later just pop those four screws off. Just be a little careful when you do that because the cord will sit in this uh, area right here. It's a little, uh, it's recessed so the cord can fit in there perfectly. Um, when you pull that bottom off, it will fall back. So just be careful with the wires that connect to the PCB on here that you don't uh, accidentally uh, let it like just fall and maybe some tension could uh, potentially cause an issue with a, a wire connection. But 
chances are you're probably just going to flip it over and like this on the table that's what i do i'm going to wipe this bottom a little bit here and uh, then you just take all four this will pop off you just make sure kind of this can stay in there a little bit the battery sits like right here i lay it down in there um, the way they think they want you to put it in is set it up on its side and it was supposed to like slide through but it never does so it's just really hard um, I found it much easier just to unscrew the bottom pop it off lay the battery in there really nice and then just put the four screws in and call it a day all right everybody take care and uh, the mic will be on the way to you today Donald 7-3